Hello students and welcome to my channel. In my previous classes, we have discussed about metals and in today's class, we will discuss about non-metals. So normally, these are in the form of solid, liquid or gaseous state and some examples are in the solid state is carbon, sulphur and phosphorus. Bromine is in the liquid state and oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen and chlorine are in the gaseous form. This is all under room temperature. There are some gases which are called inert or they are noble gases because they don't react with other elements. And the examples are helium, neon, krypton and argon. The substances which are in the solid state are normally soft. But there is only one exceptional case and that is diamond. Diamond is the hardest substance found in nature. Brittleness. These solid substances, they cannot be beaten and hammered to form sheets, unlike metals. They break down into small particles. This is called brittleness. Non-ductility. Solid non-metals, they cannot be melted and made into thin wires, unlike metals. Metals exhibit that properties. non soreness they don't make a typical sound, characteristic sound when they are hit by an object, whereas metals exhibit this property. Bad conductors of heat and electricity. Non-metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity. It's only graphite, which is a form of carbon that is a good conductor of heat and electricity. Non-metals are normally in the form of powder or gaseous and this it cannot be polished. They don't have a typical luster or, or shine unlike metals and it's only diamond exceptional which is a form of carbon. It has luster and lot of shine. Low melting and boiling point. Non-metals, most all of them have low melting and boiling points. It's only that is graphite and diamond that has very high uh, boiling point. Density. All non-metals have low density compared to metals. Now let us study about the chemical properties of non-metals. Non-metals, they react with oxygen, but they don't react with water and dilute acids. When non-metallic substances, they react with oxygen, they form non-metallic oxides. For example, when carbon reacts with oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide. Similarly, when sulphur reacts with oxygen, it forms sulphur dioxide. While burning, this will give you a bluish flame and you will get a typical pungent odor. This sulphur dioxide gas is colorless. Oxides are the most commonly found compounds in nature and hence oxygen is found so much in abundance within the earth's crust. Second most abundant found element is silicon within the earth's crust and below the earth's crust you will find a large quantity of sulphur and phosphorus. Now let us discuss about some important non-metals and their uses. The first is silicon. This silicon it is not formed in the free state but in the combined state in the form of sand which is SiO2. And this silicon it appears to be greyish in color, it is hard and it got a shine. This is used uh, in making of transistors, in uh, integrated circuits, microprocessors and the chips which are used in computers. When this silicon is combined with carbon, it forms silicon carbide and this is the second most hardest non-metal. This is used in cutting and in grinding tools which are used in industries because it's so hard. And quartz, quartz crystals which is SiO2 these uh, they oscillate they vibrate at a very uh, steady state very uh, steady state and that's why these is used in watches silicon it's also used in 
making of cement and in glass it is used in waterproof cloth and in insulation materials the next non metal is phosphorus this phosphorus it exists in many forms like uh, red phosphorus and yellow phosphorus which is also called white phosphorus this is used in uh, fertilizers and this uh, phosphorus it is also used in matchsticks uh, you know you can observe the tip of the matchstick that is phosphorus and uh, i remember my childhood when my grandfather telling me that uh, be careful when you light uh, the matchstick and you dispose the stick very safely because we used to not use uh, a lighter we used to use a matchstick and light our gas and keep the matchstick there itself but keep in mind that this phosphorus is very poisonous it's dangerous and the best example is uh, because of it being poisonous it is used in making um, chemicals which are used to kill pests like rats so keep this example in mind the next one is graphite so this graphite it is a form of carbon and uh, it is very soft it is slippery and because of this it is used uh, as a lubricant in the powder form this graphite is also a very good conductor of electricity and so it is used in making of electrodes graphite is also used in making of steel and the best example i can give you is the pencils that you all use it is made of graphite and uh, for you all to understand this more better uh, you have observed as uh, artist they use graphite pencils which is hb pencils and depending on the number h and b the number uh, the darkness of the pencil it varies to very light and very dark that it depends on the composition of graphite being used in those pencils if you get a chance just observe those pencils like uh, 2b pencils 6b or uh, 2h these are the examples next non metal is sulfur and this sulfur it exists below the earth's surface in the earth's crust it exists in the pure state as sulfur or in the combined state as uh, metallic sulfide and this sulfur it is a uh, solid crystalline yellow in color um, when it is found in as hydrogen sulfide it is uh, in petroleum gas or in coal gas and hydrogen sulfide is uh, found in the hair it is found in eggs in protein and in wool also sulfur is used in uh, making sulfuric acid and uh, sulfuric acid has many applications in uh, industries and manufacturing like uh, in detergents in explosives and in uh, making of plastics uh, also sulfur is used in um, hardening of the rubber like to improve its elasticity and uh, strength also to harden it and uh, this sulfur is also used in fireworks in pesticides and in artificial hair colors which are dyes mixing of two or more metals together to form an alloy can improve its physical properties uh, like um, an alloy is much strong harder and it has lower melting point uh, an alloy it has properties of a typical metal but the properties of the alloy differ from the metals they are made out of like for example steel steel is made from iron and carbon but steel is more malleable and it's uh, much uh, stronger and it is rust proof if you have any doubts regarding this chapter Uh, please uh, drop your comments below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible